Hi, good evening. We are a little bit late tonight on Hold No Bars, just a little late. Uh, we have been getting the updates from the meetings, and so uh, we have been uploading them. But tonight, tonight we are going to, this one second, the phones are already going, and um, we need to, we need to, um, get the phones going. There's one person calling me on um, on 681. Let me decline that call. Um, and then I have to upload my social media call. All right, so there's the social media call now going through. Um, great, hold no bars tonight. Huge meetings. We are now winding down towards the last uh, six weeks of the campaign, last five, six weeks of the campaign, and it's going to get hotter and hotter. Meetings are going to get bigger and bigger. Promises will get uh, even more, and some will try to outdo some. I noticed today um, on one lantern post on Vercingian Road, just on the way the PPP has uh, free, sorry, um, UG fees, and then there's an AFC sign saying free UG. So it's going to get a lot of promises um, coming and you are going to have to evaluate. But tonight, I want to do a couple of things. I want to show you some of the meetings that are happening now and some of the behavior at some of the meetings, that's one. And I want to leave a few minutes to deal with this new exercise that is imposed upon us. So let's get rid of the meeting part first. Excellent turnout at West Dam, Metamazor for the PPP. Um, Kevin, you can put up a couple of pictures that were sent to me. Um, just scroll and that's Metamazor right um, this evening. Yes, um, huge turnout in Metamazor. And then we can switch over to Golden Grove. Golden Grove, uh, where the APNU just concluded a meeting also. Another massive crowd at that APNU meeting. Um, that's Metamere's org for the PPP. And then this is going to come down. I don't know if Kevin has gotten that picture as yet of the APNU um, rally in Golden Grove, East Coast Demerara. So we're going to come to that and then I will show you two clips. One uh, of an APNU AFC meeting, what we call uh, Flamboyant Square, right here in Eccles, the new scheme. And then this one here, Kevin has a video, and this was last night at the Water Street Bagastown Coca a PPPC meeting being shouted down by a few residents on the right of that campaign. So this was the behavior of the crowd there in Bagotstown last evening, a meeting which yours truly spoke at. So this is um, the Bagotstown meeting of the People's Progressive Party Civic. And Kevin could cut that. We'll bring it back later tonight. And then we can show the APNU meeting happening the same time at uh, Flamboyant Square in Eccles, right? So Kevin is queuing up that one as we speak, as we speak. So the crowds on all sides are huge. They're um, energized, they're enthusiastic, nothing wrong with that. What is wrong is that when people have their meetings when people want to campaign freely, openly. Uh, they can't do it. APNO AFC supporters try to disrupt. And it's happening all over. So this is not an isolated case. Here, APNO comes into Eccles, a, an area a housing scheme that was the first to develop in 1993 by the People's Progressive Party Civic when the government changed in 92. The Eccles um, AA 
BB schemes were the one of the first to be launched, and um, and everybody lives here, um, all sides, every single political party, their senior people are in Eccles in this new scheme. It has one of the highest concentrations of government elected officials in the country and perhaps in the history of the country. But in these elections, unlike the elections in 1992, we're seeing people being uh, organized to disrupt and uh, cause some amount of confusion and prevent persons from putting their platform out to the voter. And democracy, as I've said over and over again, means you have a right, you have a right to express yourself, but you do not have a right to prevent another person from exercising his or her right. So Kevin, you're okay there now with the flamboyant uh, meeting of APNU AFC. So this here, um, someone was going, coming out, I think, of Eccles, it looks like, coming from the east, uh, going west towards the public road, and they had to go through the APNU rally at Flamboyant Square, and um, this is the rally. Uh, we didn't see anyone waving any PBP flags at that rally. I wasn't there all night, and I wasn't there. Um, I had just come in at the end after our meeting was finished in Bagastown. But this here is the, the video sent to me of the Coalitions rally at Flamboyant Square. Yes, energized and you can see it well. There is a speaker. In fact, when I went around there, I think it was um, one of the new candidates speaking. So here is their meeting. Um, and that is at Flamboyant Square for Abnu. And also Kevin needs to put up the Golden Grove picture so that we can have that's supposed to be Golden Grove this evening today for the APNU coalition. Thank you, Kevin. So that is a uh, meeting update. The meetings are energized and well attended, very well attended from all sides. So it's going to be a close race. It's going to be a race where there's going to be one of the highest turnout of the electorate that we have ever seen and it's going to be energized both parties it's going to be a case where when one party comes out in strong numbers the next day the other party um, supporters will come out in even stronger numbers and so the pendulum will swing like a good debate like a good debate and so in the end it's going to be you who are the ones to decide and I've, as I've said you know if you have any intentions of disrupting any rally from any party right please 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 this is if you know people in at those meetings who are trying to disrupt and you know them appeal to them allow people to speak to hold their meeting and more particularly allow the residents of that communities to hear to those communities to hear what people have to say what i've noticed this elections and i've been around actually in 2020 my first elections was in 1980 so i'll be a 40 year veteran this year, I know I'm, 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 I still look like if I'm 40 years of age and I see someone blushing there, um, yes. But this year I will be 40 years in politics. And we have seen a lot in those 40 years. This election is turning out um, in terms of the agitation by the AFC APNU supporters is turning out to be one of the worst I've been in. 
You know, I've spoken at Lawiza Road and Durban Street. I've spoken in Alexander Village, Shawnee Peace Square. You'd sp you call the place and most likely yours truly may have been um, speaking at a meeting there or at a meeting. And it is becoming very ruxious on the part of the AFC and APNU supporters when it comes to PBP holding a meeting in some areas. So we have to stop this. If this country is going to progress, no amount of disunity will allow it to nurture a country where all of us are going to reap the greatest rewards from. And we have to appeal to those who are disrupting people meetings. Also, in so many years, this, these elections coming up on March 2nd, the meetings are really well attended in so many areas. People are coming out to hear. I think social media has its place, but too much abusing happens in social media. People want to hear the platforms from the parties, especially the APNUAFC coalition and the PBPC. So enough of that. You have seen, you can judge, and you will get a chance to comment. I want to speak about the newest hurdle, the newest, what I call, inconsiderate decision by GCOM to now adjust 91,000 entries, names, electors on the list. This is unprecedented. And regardless of what GCOM says they are allowed by the law, I'll tell you, we can read the law here, there, anywhere, interpret it however we want. There is something called the Court of Moral Authority. And that says that you don't break convention and do certain things. 91,000 is minor change. 91,000 is almost manipulating more than 30% of the electorate. You know, earlier this year, last year, sorry, mid last year, the Ghana Broadcasting Authority, I was working numbers and I was saying in order to get a victory, the government of the day would have to look at addressing, manipulating 80,000 names. Now, we're hearing 91,000 entries were tampered with in a period which is not a claims and objections period. And what is happening is the secrecy with which Madam Justice Claudette Singh is allowing these things to happen. The secrecy. So you have a commission meeting, not this Tuesday gone, the previous Tuesday. A couple of days before, we heard that a person, a GCOM official, was there making changes, making changes to the list, which should not have been because it's against the law. And last week, not a word mentioned that 91,000 names were being amended. Entries for 91,000 persons had alterations done to it. 91,000. 91,000 divided by six. Um, we're talking about 15 seats. I hear some members from the PNC say they're winning by 10 seats. They're getting 40 seats, you know. And we've always had our suspicions. So to those of you who are still at a loss, let me set out quite clearly what is happening. The law doesn't allow this wholesale change to the particulars of the voters. These wholesale changes must be done during a claims and objections period. Data comes in, 
the voter comes, they make their change to their name, their address, their picture, they're verified, and then those changes go in the system and a revised list of electors come out. This revised list of electors that come out now is published and persons have 28 days. Persons have 28 days to come in and say, look, I am listed as 88 Block C, Pinkerton Avenue, Eccles. But I am not at 88. I am at 83. So you could make that change. You could go and do it, and that change is allowed to be made. But those changes are not five and 10,000. They have never been. But for 91,000, no, not at all. And so Lowenfield and his senior persons undertook unto themselves and I have to say, must be with the knowledge of the chairperson because the chairperson is a full-time person. Once you're appointed as chairperson of the Elections Commission, you are barred from holding any other form of employment. And it says that you are a full-time chairman of the commission. Full-time. And so you're adequately compensated for that full-timeness. And so Lowenfield just can't take it upon himself. He has every single hour and minute of the day the opportunity to consult with the chair. The chair is a learned judge. And for the judge to allow Lowenfield and company to go and tamper with 91 I, I want to backtrack. I shouldn't say tamper. To uh, make changes to 91,000 names and do it in such secrecy that it's being done and then it's thrown onto the, uh, the table last Tuesday, the Tuesday gone when the commission meets. Well, that has to be secrecy. And, you know, we have all kinds of observers in there. The chief elections officer from India, of Nigeria, Ghana or Nigeria, of Canada or somewhere else. They permanently, you know, international best practice says, you don't do these things. The other thing about it is you're using illegal data. Madam Chief Justice Acting, George, said that the host-to-host -host data you collect could only be used as a form of verification. Verification. So, here what is happening now. Lowenfield and company at GCOM, the first time in the history of elections in this country, has thrown at least five lists out there to tie up the PPPC and more particularly to cause as much confusion among the voters. Why say tie up? We had first this house to house registration. This house to house registration produced 370,000 people and produced a list. Then, after that, it was stopped. There was a preliminary list of electors. So that was the first list officially released for the opposition to have some scrutiny on and for the voter and for the voter to be able to check the name. So that was the first list. Then you had, before the revised list come out, you had another list. You had a list of persons who did not pick up ID cards. And I think that was, this was about 20,000 persons. So the opposition had to go and mobilize and check that again. And then you had, excuse me, then you had 
the new registrants list. So after the cross matching of the PLE and the house to house, a list of 35,000 new registrants was produced. GCOM sat down and did some extra cross matching and they found 15,000. And then 20,000 had to be verified. The opposition said, come out, let's join forces and go and find them. The opposition immediately went to the ground and said that a minimum of 8,000 names are duplicate. We have found those. Then reluctantly, GCOM engaged in a house to house. So we had to go through this new registrants list. So let's back up. We had preliminary list of electors. We had the ID card list. We had the new registrants list. And then we get the revised list of electors, that's four. And now we have the 91,000 list, that's five. Could you imagine in the space, in the space of two and a half months, you have thrown five lists at the PPPC. You know what? We're checking them. And what we are finding immediately that that 91,000 list came out, we hit the road. Dr. Jagir will speak of, and I know they've already sent the evidence into GCO, will speak to even more of these findings. But even right around the corner here, in, uh, on the East Bank, we've seen samples, we've already done check entire areas, 44 persons supposed to be on this list with changes. We couldn't find 25 of them. People are now going back on the streets. We have to go back and check the preliminary list to see if they did. We have to go back and check the uh, registrants doing claims and objections to see if they're, they're there. We have to go back now and check the revised list of electors to see if they're there. And then we also have to go on the ground. You know what? We're going to do it. So I want to appeal to you tonight. I know I've spoken almost uh, 25 minutes already and haven't taken your calls. But regardless of who you're voting for, please, please, please go out there and check. And check to ensure that your name is on the list and where you are registered. Because... What we are seeing is that persons are being scattered about. The, whatever is happening, it's, we are seeing that uh, persons are scattered about. Hi, good evening. You're on the Hi, air. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Mr. Mansour. Go ahead. These people going to try. They're going to try all mm -hmm. They're going to try their best to rig this election. Mm-hmm. Like in the porn of my style. Creation of all the tactics, all them old heads with the engine, the main engine, mm -hmm. from their partner, all of them know. Mm -hmm. Madam Chairman, she coming out. She coming out and tell the people them nothing like she get pay off, like the two liar. 34 of the 65. All of them, these people like get them pay off. But now it feels little to me tonight. Your best hard make thing right there. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you can't live in Guyana. I'm yeah. telling you this. A lot of people planning for you. Okay, pal. So, thanks. Hi, good evening, you. Sorry, I cut off that caller. Okay, let's hit the. It's coming in fast and furious. Hi, good evening. Hold no bars. You're on the air. Hi, man. So good night. Good evening. But, yeah, um, I think you have to be really careful with them people. I think that people get the help. Mm -hmm. I can't see all this nasty going on. And then uh, the international people, some of them down their head, and nobody clean up who, who the nastiness was going on. Mm -hmm. Something going on. I think I think if you yeah, don't keep checking those lists and then yeah. show people in and address them the right way, 
they confuse everything and rig this election. Okay, but all is not lost, right? So I'm yeah, saying yeah. we know they are in there working 24 hours a day, right? So we have to make sure that we are on the list and where we are voting. So we can come make no complaints now. For me, we, we are going to do what we have to do and we are doing it. But for you, please, every single week, ask us to check where you're voting. Every single week, ask us to check where you're voting. Because remember, there's still got another list to come out. And that's the official list of electors. And you can see a whole lot of scatterbrains happening again. Right? I, I, um, I check my name and my name is on, but I, I still, I still wondering why are these things going on? And the observers them is here, and and the chairman is there, and seeing these things happening and nobody doing nothing. Thanks, your observation. Let me take a few more. Right? Good. Okay. Let's get this. What is the basis? This is another. Um, this is a message coming on on the WhatsApp. What is the basis for the ninety one thousand amendments? In my view, and the person who just did this said this is a lawyer. In my view, it is illegal. This wholesale amending of the list is illegal for two reasons: the claims and objections period is over, and you can only make changes to the re, to the preliminary list through a claims and objections period yes there can be minor stuff that's happening but this wholesale 91,000 entries being affected has to had to have happened over a period of time and had to have happened with the knowledge of the chairperson so that's one person um, in terms of the pictures that were circulated that was shown earlier. I have another person saying, good night, uh, Comrade Nadir, uh, on the Golden Grove, sorry, on the Granger, the administration, not so Golden Grove, got mountains and blue water, right? Well, I don't know about Photoshop and touching up. That was uh, one of the pictures I received, I put it up, right? So if you know a lot about Photoshopping, please, let's hear about it. Hi, you're on the air. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're on the air. I cut that person off. Let me just kill the volume on this phone now and take another caller. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. You're on the air. Hi. Okay, so that person don't want to talk. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Well, we are looking because we have now asked our people to go out in the field. We can know from people's accent, uh, and we have a right to go out and check. We can know. Uh, I had one person said to me that the Ministry of um, Citizenship has issued, and this is a very knowledgeable person, uh, quite a few thousands of. Um, citizenship certificate to persons who may not be eligible for them but we're waiting for the hard data on that right thanks good so yes we do have um we do have that uh as part of the um hi good evening you're on the air go ahead go ahead you're on the air Good, good, good. All is well? Yeah, I'm trying to learn with TV there. Okay, the TV come off. Everything okay? Yes, so far. Okay, um, the election. Go ahead. The man love it feel. Uh-huh. Make millions of dollars in last election and investigate that. Mm-hmm. But that is on the investigation, right? But let's, that's on the investigation. The Auditor General has written about that. And that report is also going to be um, perused by the parliament when it, it, um, okay, but, but peruse that and we're going to hear more from that, right? Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hi, Master. Good night. Good evening. Good night, sir. Um, a couple of things. Um, Go ahead. 
Vilas hoor te meram, jiko meram, this whole scenario. Right. With this 91,000 and what we are saying about. Right. Where the law is concerned. Tell me. And it is when the TNE comes out, mm -hmm. we have a claims and objection period. Right. <laughs> the GCOM went ahead and do a, a truncated household registration. Mm -hmm. That should not have been combined or come together with the, um, the PLE, mm -hmm. which has already started and had big debate. If mm -hmm. you understand what I'm saying, mm -hmm. where the debate is that, um, put in the household registration to the PLE or the RLE. Mm -hmm. Now, when the RLE came out, the revises to election mm -hmm. and electors, during the period of the PLE and the RLE, we had a claims and objection period. Mm -hmm. So, persons who would have been outside of the house, the house registration, mm -hmm. should have come and get catch mm -hmm. or thing to have themselves on the list. Right. But now the RLE came out. Mm -hmm. Persons, well, political parties went about and was doing the the <coughs> field exercise, as I call it, field right. exercise, uh -huh. to say who is what and who is not. Uh -huh. I think some of the political parties um, I want to say, uh, have found that some of the registrants who were registered during their house, house registration, mm -hmm. who were on the RLE, are mm -hmm. vacant house lots. That's true. We have found a lot of those. Right. They yes. also found that there may be houses, person, when, uh, the houses or the, uh, the, 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 yes, the building was not occupied. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. It is also found based on other sources is that some of these persons who were registered and using the house lots or using the addresses mm -hmm. were persons who were allocated house lots mm -hmm. by the major housing. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. so even though you are allocated a house lot by major housing, mm -hmm. you may not be living there, but you're you're registered there. Right. You've got to be living elsewhere. Uh -huh. So when you go to verify or the parties who are going to look at person registered there, we're talking about duplicate registration. Mm -hmm. Right? It comes now that when the opposition, which is the DPC, is mm -hmm. now, was questioning of the truncated house of house registration. Right. Bringing it into the the PLE, the RLE, and what's that? Mm -hmm. You know what is surprising? That GCOM came about said ninety one thousand people. Mm -hmm. They're admitting now ninety one thousand people wrote. Mm -hmm. Come on, tell me they were saying it was only six thousand with unverified or what's that with the <laughs> exactly the house of what of the three hundred seventy thousand. Uh huh. Now, sir, we are going into an OLE that is supposed to come out. Mm -hmm. And we are having a problem of 91,000, sir. Mm -hmm. If you multiply 91,000 by 2, what happens, sir? Yep. Okay, so we understand what's happening there. Thanks for the call. Um, I can't fault any of the reasoning whatsoever. Um, of that caller, but let's get back to some of the messages. Uh, one says here, good night. The coalition supporters are lawless, just like they're unconstitutional leaders. Where is the police when? Well, don't let us abuse the police because thanks to the Ghana police force, at least I can speak for all of the meetings I've been to. I've been in Charlestown. I've been in uh, Section K and Lamaha Gardens. I've been in Little Diamond tonight. I've been in Bagot Stone. Um, and the police has done a really, really good job. Good. That meeting that started in Bagot Stone last night, yes, um, we had the ranks come and everything, and they sent for the reinforcement and kept those shelters back um, a good distance away. But 
um, and they looked. Uh, there was one incident there of early on when we set up around five o'clock of a bottle being thrown, uh, but that was only one incident. But the police, the police must be commended, at least for the meetings I have been and been involved in, the police has done a fantastic job. Hi, good evening. Sorry, cut that one off. Sorry about that. Um, let's take this caller. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good night, good night. Good evening. Good evening. Yep, yep. Go ahead, you're on the air. Okay. Get your thoughts together when you call in so that you can go right away online. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hi, good night, Mr. Nadia. You have to lower the volume a bit for me, please. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, there, there is something affecting me, man. Uh -huh. I need to know why is it that if you wear a jersey, mm -hmm. that is reflecting that you're a PPP. Yeah. There are certain places you cannot walk comfortable. Mm -hmm. And if you wear a green jersey, mm -hmm. you could walk in the whole Guyana, nobody wouldn't tell you nothing. Right. Is there a penalty for that? If you walk with a t shirt, like let me say it's my PPP, mm -hmm. people look down at you, people want to beat you, people want to mm -hmm. do you all sorts of things. And if you wear a PMC or APN your t shirt, People will look at you and rejoice. I, 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 I'll just bring this point to you that something I think should have been put in place because everybody has their own mind to make their own choice. If you want to be a PPP, that's your business. If you want to be an APN, that's your business. Why is it that only if you have on a PPP t-shirt, people are victimizing you? Thank you very much. Um, I leave that. I think you've said it quite uh, concisely and effectively. Here is another comment online. I find it strange that not a single statement out of the international community on these issues. We have, uh, we have help. We have help. Yet all the jiggery seems to be going on. Before the 2015 election, the PPP, the PPPC government could not sneeze. They blow, they blew everything out of proportion. That's one comment. Um, another person here was saying that um, they're not getting through with the live streaming. Well, sorry about that, but we have quite a few callers. Hi, good evening. You're on I the air. Yeah, Mr. Nadia, we are talking. I was talking about the 19,000, and I get to cut off. I don't know. Uh, no, I cut you off because we got to. We can't let one person dominate. I'm giving you only six seconds. It's not you want 91,000, but it's 91,000 by two, we'll have master. Mm -hmm. Okay, 91,000 is what we have, right? So um, we have to look after the 91,000 plus, we're going to have an OLE coming out, which is another list. And we have to check again because remember between the RLE, and the OLE is this period of 91,000 names, right? 91,000 names came true as needed adjustments. Plus, we still got to go to the OLE. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. You're on the air. Okay. We got time. We have limited time tonight. Good evening. You're on the air. Good, good evening. No, as a, as a old politician, do you think those things that they are promising? That the PPP permits him. Mm -hmm. Do you think those things could ever materialize? How could, how could they send them and take off so much of taxes and this, and then they can raise this and they can raise them? Where's the money coming from? Okay, I think they can materialize. Simple. We didn't have those taxes before the APNU AFC government. We didn't have the same level of those taxes, right? So all we're doing is reversing the extra taxes which were put on the people. That's one. The second issue is that we also have oil. And if we did all of that without oil, we are qualified to produce paradise with the oil revenue. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good evening. 
Okay, let me cut off some of these because somehow I have the two phones them and when one ring the other one rings. I have to get my technician. Yeah, this the iPhone the iPhone and, and sickness. I, I got a different thing on the, the, the ringing out tonight. Go ahead, go ahead. You get your five minutes. Elections rig. Mm -hmm. I think the whole G com system, the whole electorate or the whole electoral system mm -hmm. ring. It's not a, and G com how come they didn't know about this night? The one thousand addresses were, were not correct mm -hmm. all the time. How come at the last moment mm -hmm. they got this this thing? Why why did they notice it all the time? And right. people are saying that uh, these observers, right? Mm -hmm. It is looking very suspicious that these observers are supposed to be in GCOM mm -hmm. to avoid and uh, correct all these things. So something is definitely wrong with these observers are sort of coming. You got to be very careful because, listen to me, remember ExxonMobil has a lot of influence on world politics, mm -hmm. right? And you, uh, people can say Exxon Mobil is not involved in politics, right? I listen. The guy he said, he said Exxon Mobil said they are not involved in politics. If Exxon Mobil is not involved in politics, right? Uh huh. How is Mr. Rex Tillerson is the Secretary of State? Was the Secretary of State? Mm -hmm. Is that not a political position? Right. So how how they could they this this and think this are from uh, political uh, thing and influence? Mm -hmm. Right, so you, you gotta be very careful with Exxon Mobil, right? These character centers and all these observations have to get funding, mm -hmm. right? If Exxon Mobil is getting the oil free from this government, mm -hmm. right? Why would they put you all in there if they, they, they know you are going to re go negotiate those contracts? Mm -hmm. so you gotta be careful with all these things. And this chairman, remember, was telling about this lady. Mm -hmm. You see this lady is manifesting her true colors. Mm -hmm. These things are going on in there and she is not notifying the PPP commissioners. Right. That that is not suspicious? That's extremely suspicious. Right. So you That's you a big disappointment, man. Good. I wanted to compare her mm -hmm. that steel she is made of with the steel of Mr. Barton Scotland mm -hmm. and Madam Braxton George, Honorable Lady. Mm -hmm. And you could see clearly those people, those persons were able mm -hmm to separate their political convictions and their professional mandate. I, I, I want to endorse your mentioning of Barton Scotland because, you know, yes, he so did. Wrong. I, I got something to beat it, but I don't know if you can give me. Uh -huh. You will give me time? Yes, go ahead, go ahead. All right, considering the adamant position of taken by the Speaker of the House, Mr. Mm -hmm. Barton Scotland, mm -hmm. it maintained that the no confidence motion was validly passed. Right. And the resoluteness of the Honorable Chief Justice, Madam Broxton George, uh -huh. is upholding mm -hmm. that Darnas's vote was valid, mm -hmm. despite it being a dual citizenship, shows that there are people who are still objective mm -hmm. and capable also of separating their political convictions mm -hmm. from their professional mandate and rooting themselves in the bedrock of integrity. Mm -hmm. Now let's examine the decision of the Chairman of the Election Commission. For us, she promised to give the election in 2019. The Chief Justice's decision to use the House of Registration data for verification has been nullified. Mm -hmm. Her signature, the Chairman's signature, was forged on the document, yet no disciplinary action, right? Stipulation after stipulation from the PSC Commissioner, she has allowed, although they were illegal, right? Mm -hmm. Among the things, now using the above mentioned facts to form a deduction, could it be fair to say that she lacks the quality of iron? Because they were saying she's an iron woman. Uh -huh. But she lacks the quality of iron that made the speaker and the chief justice. Mm -hmm. But she is of a more malleable form of iron. But I want to go a little further. But I, I malleable form of metal. Or metal, okay. But here, you know, I think she's malleable only on the side. She made up, she's made up of two sets of iron. Mm -hmm. She's malleable on the side to the PNC commissioners. Mm -hmm. And she's rigid on the side of the PPP commissioners. Thank you. Thanks for that, sir. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Sorry. I'll try to, I'll, I'll try to, um, try calling on the landlines. I've disabled the, um, the 681 number because, hi, good evening. You're on yeah, the air. Mr. Manjuna, dear. Go ahead. How are you, sir? All is well. How are you? Not too bad. The echoes 
Representative Connie, we are all from the same area. Go ahead, Eccles. And I respect you highly. Thank you, sir. I also respect your observation highly. Thank you. Now, uh, but what I am puzzled with is mm -hmm. that from your dissemination of the information, mm -hmm. is that the commissioners, they don't know what they're doing, and that is so wrong. We have a, we have a, a judge, a, mm -hmm. right, a former judge, he mm -hmm. it as the chairman. How could you say such a thing, man? Mm -hmm. I am disappointed at you. Mm -hmm. Very much disappointed. For a man of your caliber. Mm -hmm. And I think you should have your own thing. I mean, you have your own thing. What is the position? You are your own party. You mm -hmm. should have your own, your own thing. Mm -hmm. Right? And I mean, with that, with that being said, I think um, you should go back on board, have your own party, mm -hmm. and deal and deal. Because you are, you are competent enough. I am, I am certain about that. Thank you. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that is about it, right? Thanks, Eccles. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hi, good evening, sir. Good evening. Um, this problem with the whole election thing, the guy is being rushed. That's it? No, 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 no. You hear me out. Well, and you have to speak up because I have a lot of callers call coming through. Okay, so I think we lost him. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hi, good evening, Mr. Nadi. You're with Go ahead. All is well. It, they, 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 they put it to last caller. They call it a call and give it a gift. That man well said. Mm -hmm. I think we need more like him mm -hmm. to be on air to, to educate people and what's going on. But that's why I normally give him a few minutes every yes, Friday. I, I appreciate that. And he, he, the, he well said. He well said. And what he said is exactly the truth of what's going on in Chico. Great. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's free up the line so we can get a few more callers on all sides of the issue tonight. Um, I hold my position that uh, all of this that's happening should be a commission's decision, the 331, not a secretariat and the chair. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Well, go ahead, Mr. Ganga. Go ahead. Uh, what not Ganga, boy. This is Manzoor. Ganga's morning show. Yeah, Mr. Manzoor. What year what, what what's his name? Gary Stream, please. Gary Stream, yes, go ahead. Young lady, tell us I'm a bad. If I name it to Gary Stream, many times. Yes, oh, the police may like to yell at the people from my job. The Gary Stream, two steps to my right hand, but if I need to step to it, don't get it generally. Like the issue I set up a great man. Who would you take from me? But to my family, I know. Well, I hear the Chumachumari Hydro was a good experiment and nothing more. Having been to Chumach so many times and looked at it, that you have to dam up the place, right? And flood the area. Good? So I, I don't think Chumachumari was ever conceived to be a hydro to power any... It was supposed to be a small hydro to help with a possible army outpost there along with my Kobe and Madia, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I know the area well. And Garway Stream, personally, I would love to see that bridge. The old man was playing the Garway Stream bridge is butch. Okay, yes. Yeah, I use the so. Okay, but that bridge really, uh, you know, to conceive. Old bridge in Guyana, but we have Taiwanese. Yeah. I'll, I'll get a picture up and show people because um, that Garway um, Stream bridge, you know, could you imagine so many decades ago, um, People just move all this equipment into the heart of Guyana and build this suspension bridge. Wow. Good. Okay. Clear all the calls. We have five minutes remaining. I can take about six calls if you keep it short and simple. Remember, KISS. Keep it short and simple. Hi. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Mr. Manson. Good evening. Uh, those previous callers that called and explain to you about the GCOM and all the international people, the ex-mobile people. That is very true. We all are just mm -hmm. knew that, that that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. It seems that we have to listen to him. We need more colonies. Mm -hmm. yes. Because from the very beginning, we are, uh, Mr. Bajang, we choose her. Mm -hmm. We all knew she is not different from me. 
Okay, thanks a lot for the observation, right? You know, we have to be very, very, very careful, right? You know, this evening, just before I came out, um, the one of the offsprings of a lady whose name we have forgotten, and let me give, um, bear with me for this last few minutes, somebody we have forgotten, and her name is Betty Moon, and she is one of the the victims of the racial strikes of the 60s. Betty Moon was in 1964 in Rio Cinema where a bomb came through the window, blew her guts out. I think about three or four persons died. Yours truly was saved by the grace of supreme intervention. I was in the cinema at the time. Now, there are no winners in war. No winners in war. And I think I mentioned last week uh, having come from the masjid in the same, the same very spot where that bomb was thrown in 1964. Today is Al Najam, the Star Masjid in Al-Baistan. Last week, I I went there for Juma, and I mentioned about the Imam talking about what a war zone is like, and all the people pray for his peace. We 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 are not we are not we are not remembering our history. So uh, Betty Moon's, um, uh, one of her relations, direct, has sent me a number of pictures earlier tonight, right? Um, let me take this call and maybe one more, and then we can wind down. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hold no bars. Go ahead. Hello? You're on the air. Okay, we can take that person off. Okay, let me just um, clear up the WhatsApp messages. Also, yes, so those, you know, who are bent on creating mayhem, including those who want to fix um, results of elections, allow the people to have a free and fair elections. You're going to manipulate 91,000 names one way or the other. Any kind of changes like that is nothing more than wholesale. I will give this particular caller. Two minutes, and then we have to wind up. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hi, assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. Um, I see the press in which they are saying mm -hmm. a going field has the right yes. to make changes to the for the RLE. Mm -hmm. But if they check back the law, mm -hmm. they say 37, but 37 is based on 35. Mm -hmm. of the 1908 mm -hmm. and 935 speaks of claims on objection mm -hmm. so if it, it cannot make any kind of claim on objection it has to be uh, putting anything from house to house to where it has to come from claims on objection and the house to house that they undertook is not a claims on objections the other thing about house to house it was done without scrutineers without any input Mm -hmm. So, if we go back to section 14 of the same 1908, mm -hmm. in which you got to prepare the list, mm -hmm. the commission have to give the commissioner, that CEO, instruction to prepare the list. Exactly. From, from the central register. It is there from anywhere else. Mm hmm from the central register and that PLE was prepared from the central register mm -hmm. and if this 
about 7,000 transactions, I understand. Mm -hmm. How are you going to make 91,000 transaction changes? Now, that's definitely illegal. Mm -hmm. And they're pushing, but what they're doing, they're using part of the law that we, we can make changes, ignoring 25, which says it got to be the claims and objection. Excellent. You see, it's the same thing they did, and let me remind you of this quickly. In 2015, they ignore the law in Section 84 2 that says that if a counting agent asks mm -hmm. for a final count of the PO count, the RO will have to do it. Mm -hmm. But they went down further down to Section 8 and speak of if you request a final uh, a recount. Mm -hmm. But that's not recount. They use the law to suit themselves. And that's what the government commissions with the the legal officer and the chairman at the time agree and it was wrong. Wrong. They I did not take the 8402 which says he must do it. And that, that they use pieces of law to suit themselves. I want to put you on a program on Tuesday. I'll call you, right? Take care. Good. <laughs> Thank God. Final caller for this evening. Go ahead. Good evening, Mr. Nadia. Good evening. Final caller. I want to believe that this because they believe that they will be protected by Mr. Granger. Like what he did for Mr. Uh, uh, the finance minister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we made the, the sentence from the, to the finance minister. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, every time we talk about the law, the law, the law, it's like these people are ignoring it because they think it's It doesn't look nice. So I have to cut you off there because uh, Kevin is just trying to get his neck off by with his fingers. So, hey, this has been a hot program. It has to be hot because what has happened this week at the Elections Commission does not inspire any amount of confidence. And Justice Singh, you've actually disappointed an entire nation. Good night. On behalf of all of us here at, at MTV, I want to say thanks for listening and you all have a great night. Next week, we're going to be back.